Oh, um, <clears throat> a little bit different kind of video. So this is my 40 gallon fish tank. Uh, today I try to hardscape it in kind of what's called the island style. Um, so basically it's an island here that's going to be surrounded by usually white sand or some type of really light sand or substrate. In this case I'm actually using white sand on top of some really cheap clay sand. And I don't know, I am not sure if it looks the way that I hope it would look. Uh, so this is going to be the discus tank. I'm hoping to get the discus in in about a month and a half. To do that, the first thing I'll do is to finish the hardscape. Uh, so this part in the middle is going to have the plant is going to be the plant section. So what I need to do next is I bought some fluval stratum, which is a live or a active substrate um, for the plants. So I'm gonna put that in there, pile it up, and put hopefully put. I actually think I might need to tie down this wood to a piece of stone, but I'm hoping not. But we'll we'll see what happens. Once I, I need to actually fill it up with some or put it in some water to see if it actually floats or not. Uh, so that's kind of the deal now. Unfortunately, the stone that I picked, I don't think I picked the right stone. It should be more of the, the kind of the sharp style stone. And the stone here is to kind of keep back the, or separate out the stratum, which, cat's going crazy. To, to separate out the stratum, which is dark, uh, with the, with the white sand. Um, <laughs> I usually chase my cat to keep her from scratching the, the furniture as much. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. And uh, it will look completely different once it's filled with water also. So this week, so, so hopefully at the end of the day I'll put the stratum in and I'll figure out if this piece of wood can float, this screw foot can float by itself or not. And if so, then I think that will probably complete the hardscape and the back here this area here is probably going to be a little bit clear um, I don't want to I want to give the fish an opportunity to swim all the way around uh, this island here so that back will probably not I'll probably move the tree up a little bit and there's there will be an opening in the back for the fish to swim either the discus or the tetras that I'm going to put in here. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the other thing I'm doing at the moment. Obviously, can't go e-bike riding all the time. So let's see how that goes, see how that works out. Going to wait for the sand to dry a little bit, and then after that I will put the, um, put the fluval stratum on there. And we'll, we'll take a look and see how that looks. Um, in terms of the plant, I'll, usually the back has taller plants, so I'll put a lot of, like, I'm not sure what plants. This, I probably, so the other thing says a discus tank, so the temperature is going to be a little bit higher than usual, uh, probably like 83, 84. So I'm going to put probably some swords in the back. Uh, the tree itself, I'm going to tie moss. Uh, Java moss onto, or glue Java moss onto, so it'll look kind of cool with the Java. So it'll actually look like a tree, um, like a happy tree, if you understand the reference. And I think, yeah, I think that'll be it. Um, gonna order the the light tonight, and also the filter as well, um, and also maybe the air stone also, or the yeah, also the air stone as well. So. I'll get all that stuff. I, I still need to make a cover for this tank. I didn't buy the cover, so I think I'm gonna use some some type of plexiglass or really cheap material for the top. But it, it needs to also look. It needs to be provide enough space for the light, which goes across here, and also needs to look kind of nice. Also, um, obviously this is a discus tank, so you'll like to make sure that you know discus are really nice looking fish. 
So I want to make sure that the entire setup is, is pretty nice and done well. Uh, so this is the board that I made. It's just like a 3 4 inch uh, subfloor rated uh, piece of plywood. I, I needed to use this plywood because the tank itself is just about an inch and a half over the dimensions of this stand or this table I'm putting this um, tank on. So I needed to have th this plywood interface to spread the load out. But this plywood is subfloor rated, which means that it's rated to 1,500 pounds. And obviously this is not going to be 1,500 pounds. It'll be heavy. It'll probably be like 500, 600 pounds when fully filled. But it won't be, obviously it won't be 1,500. So, so that's that. Um, let's see if I can get the... Uh, I'm wait so the, <clears throat> I'm gonna do is I'm waiting for the sand to dry here a little bit. Uh, there's still a little bit of water. I took a lot of this water out, but I want to I want it to dry completely before I put the stratum in because I'm not I'm not gonna fill the tank right away. I'm probably gonna fill it next week. Uh, so next week I'll get the plants and all the equipment except for probably except for the cover. Um, done yeah so but also in the front I want to get some really low plants and that's where the that's where the palms is because I don't the pet my local petco is really good it's probably one of the best pet coals I've seen but they don't have low <coughs> well I, I don't quite like their low uh, low plants they have really good swords really good Valsteria and Luigia but not the low plant. So, and I want to get like a grass-like plant, which means I need to buy it from a re from a real fish store or import it somehow or buy it online. So I don't know. Um, but anyway, <coughs> that's that, and I'll come back later once I get this filled with the fluvial stratum.